everybody looking at this picture right here should be familiar with this building. This is none other than the Department of Housing and Urban Development, also known as HUD. And it says right in close to downtown DC. And well, because of this shutdown, they basically are saying that there is no money to be given past February. You know, this is where a lot of people who are on welfare or get government assistance get their food stamps from. You know, WIC and EBT and all of that comes from here. And to my knowledge, um, someone told me that the um that whatever they were getting for February, that comes tomorrow, I believe. And if this goes into February, this right here will be the last uh food stamp, government assistance, WIC, EBT, whatever they will get until the government opens back up because they pretty much have dissolved all of their funds for now. I'm going to go ahead and read this article. It says the government shutdown has many people across the Tennessee Valley worrying about how they're going to make ends meet. And it's not just affecting Tennessee. It's just that the article I'm reading from is talking from from the Tennessee state. But it is affecting the entire nation or those who are affected by it. Now there is growing fear among those living in public housing complexes as HUD funding is only guaranteed through February. This is the first time in 18 years that we've been at this point on the shutdown. So, yes, yeah, slightly worried as it goes, we're getting more tense as the days pass. Lance Armstrong has been the executive director for Scottsboro Housing Authority for nearly two decades. He's been through other shutdowns, but says they don't compare to what he's experienced now. If the shutdown continues, this is very critical to their everyday life. It's also critical to his everyday life because then his money's affected. I mean, you're talking about having to worry about where you're going to live, where you're going to put your head down at night. So, yeah, it is very important and a critical issue. In Scottsboro, they will reserve funds to help the 175 tenants who get a monthly voucher. In other places like Huntsville, no word on exactly what the plan is. But in a statement given to WAFF 48 News, they said they said none of their households have been affected in any way, at least not now. I have children in my and my children aren't going to have any place to go. Mary Beth Rich said she lives in the Butler Terrace Complex in Huntsville. Those most at risk are single families and the elderly. Basically, those who um, only have one parent in the house, like a single parent. And of course, those who probably are considered AARP range or people who are retired. Officials urge now isn't the time to panic, but it is the time to plan. Well, I think people have gone past that level. I think people are now at the panicking stage. I'm telling you, this shutdown is it's a doozy. It really is. I don't like I don't have all the answers. I don't know what to tell people. But, you know, it's going to be very interesting. I have a feeling that that movie, The Purge, is really going to actually come to life. I, I won't be surprised if you start seeing people riot out in the streets or doing, you know, people are going to become desperate. So y'all better tighten down because people are going to try to rob you. They're going to stick you up. They're going to do anything that they can to get their hands on some money and some food or at least the food that ain't tainted because you know what they said about the FDA. And, you know, uh, I actually uh had read somewhere uh, where some woman had brought some milk and she uh, poured some, you know, I guess she was going to either drink it or maybe, you know, do something with it. And she noticed that it was some slimy type, type substance that came out of the carton. Like it was a white slimy substance, you know, because the FDA cannot check or inspect the food or the drinks that are in the stores now. So now people are panicking whether or not they are going to get food. And, you know, at this time of the year, especially if you live on the East Coast, you can't grow anything out of the ground because it's too cold. It'll die like the minute that it hits the surface, if it does hit the surface because the ground is too frigid. So people are in a it's, it's a very sticky messy situation but we all know who to blame but of course that person is not going to take the blame because they're too busy pointing the finger of blame at everybody else y'all let me know what you think down in the comments like share subscribe the links will be in the description i will talk to you in the next one